Let's start with privileges. Yes, only mana privileges. That should be enough. And now let's seize land. Here we go. And let's look at our starting position. So we are on an island. That means a few things. First thing, I need a lot of transports, but I don't have them. I have only two of them. And that means that I either should build transports or I can hire free company. I think in this situation, galleys will be more useful. So I'll build them instead. And now let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's just hire over the first limit. Also, because we are an island nation, we don't get any special CBs. So we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Here we go. At least we have one ally. That's already pretty good. The only war has started, but as I already said, we don't get any CBs. Now I'm a pirate. And now the best part of this game, my favorite one. That covers our expenses at least for a decade. So now let's transport our troops here. Let's have general. Not bad, not bad. And now let's declare on Uchi. Here we go, call in Shoni, yes. And let's make them co-belligerent. And first naval battle, here we go. Win, of course. This was the biggest obstacle in this war. From now on, it's going to be easy. So they're trying to siege down this province. I won't let them. Let's kill them off. Easy win. And let's siege their capitals. Okay, it's over. Let's capture their provinces. Don't really care about Shoni. It may break alliance with me if it wants to. And now I should have Sengoku CB. I do. Perfect. Let's declare on Hasakawa. It seems like I'm losing. Yes, and quite badly. Well, in my opinion, it's the best time to peace out. First, because if I take too much provinces, there will be big coalition, and I'm not ready for it. And second, because they sunk half of my ships, so it will be quite difficult to conquer more. Okay, yes, there will be coalition, but not bad enough. I'll survive. And I need to find some allies, some really big allies, like this one. Yes. Oh, it's a very good ally. Hooray! New military technology. And now, time to pirate. My whole economy runs on raiding. Sorry, Shoni. That's really bad idea. Decline. Let's instead ally Toki. Cause why not? Guys, I think we caused Imperial Incident. We are a menace. Wow, big Oda. That's quite a unicorn. Let's ally it. And also, by the way, Oda won't join here. And you know what it means? It means a very good opportunity to declare. This naval battle is intense. And I think I'm winning here. I think... No, really? Why did they build a navy? I don't understand. The war is going just great. Thankfully, AI is really stupid. I don't even understand why it tried to navally invade. Hello, we have access here. Just walk here. Another naval invasion? Really? It's like they're trying to lose the war. No, really. What is this ratio? At least I won one battle. Hooray. Now time for revenge. As I can see, they want to say that I've already stopped raiding, yes? Okay, if they think so, then they're right. No raiding at all. Time to finally peace out. This war was quite long and quite expensive. So, as you can see, coalition will be quite small. Not a big deal. But now I am really big. Let's repay our loans. Here we go. That's why raiding is cool. Well, maybe I should declare on them. Maybe it is a good idea. Well, it is easy. A Chicago annexed Osakawa. Quite unfortunate. Okay, here we go for annex and money. New military technology. Hooray. Well, it would be a perfect opportunity to declare on someone, but well, I don't have enough of admin points. Raiding China is definitely one of the funnest things that you can do in EU4. Now I think it's the perfect time to declare, while they're busy. Okay, and I think I'll make Chiba co belligerent. I need Musashi. Don't think that it would be difficult. Look, they're taking away my provinces. That's definitely some border core. Actually, I plan to fall and both of them, but it seems that I can't do it. Let's do it at least partially. Some provinces here. Well, it seems like I need to beat Ogasawara. Maybe even let's do it right now. Of course, I demand full annexation and some money, but there will be problem with coalition. That's why I have genius plan. There won't be coalition if I conquer its members. Wow, this game is so intense that I even forgot to raid. And here we go, Japan is almost united. But I have one real small problem with rebels, nothing serious. Still, I need to fix it. So in my opinion, it's good idea to declare on a Chicago right now and try to form Japan as soon as I can, so separatism disappears. Because right now, it's almost impossible to deal with this much rebels. Well, here we go. Maybe they'll kill off my rebels, I hope. Well, and here we go. I haven't become Shogun. I remain Pirate Republic. And let's break our alliance. I definitely think that I should have broken my alliance with Oda sooner. Because if someone doesn't know, separatism disappears if you form another nation. So if I form Japan, there won't be any rebels. Anyway, that's why I think it would be better if I declare on Oda right now. Yes, I'll just break. Well, here we go, full annexation and money. Now let's wait for a bit and it should be available. Yes, let's form Japan. So we are still a pirate republic. 
And also now we have Japanese missions. Ok, soon enough rebels will go away. Right now let's boost my network on Ainu. And let's start developing renaissance. I'll develop it here, pretty good province. Encourage development. Now I just need to deal with rebels and everything will be ok. Ok, let's finally state our provinces. Really satisfying. By the way, that's the negative side of being Pirate Republic. Basically, I can only conquer Japan and maybe some islands, and that's it. No colonial Korea. Okay, let's conquer Ainu. Do you see it? Third level fort? In tribal nation? Seriously? Third level? Okay, let's choose our naval doctrine. Difficult choice. Atikebune or Reorseman. Wow, this is quite exotic, but this is quite reliable. Let's choose Atikebune. I haven't chosen it much. And also I think in future I'll rely on heavies and not on galleys. Japan is almost complete. Only Okinawa is left. But I think I'll wait a little before conquering Okinawa, because Min right now is, I think, stronger. Right now my priority is to get exploration. Time for raiding. I want to build a lot of ships. Maybe even flagship. First let's build a few heavies and then flagship. And I think let's upgrade some centers of trade. Here, why not? And here it is, Renaissance. By the way, I can even raid Philippines. I need a lot of money to embrace Renaissance, so I need to raid. Maybe let's take one loan, don't see a reason why not. And let's embrace Renaissance, here we go. Japan number one, number seven actually. Maybe let's do it forts, because why do I need forts? I'm Japan, it's not like someone is going to invade me. And here it is, exploration. Now I just need a little more of a diplomatic mana. Let's get rid of mercenaries, I don't really need them. Only maybe free company. Free company is cool. Stability is just a number. Finally, let's explore. I just need to buy explorer. Yes, I have some problems with mana, but triple mana is not a problem. Admin is. Here we go. Explorer. Explore something. Northwest Pacific. Okay, I give up. Let's raise stability. I'm so excited about New World that I forgot to raid coasts. And finally, I'm able to get colonist. And now let's try to get colonial distance advisor. Oh, it was fast. And still no. I finally fully cored all of my provinces. Finally, America awaits us. And maybe let's move our capital to, I don't know, Kyoto. And now I should be able to get colonialism. And moment of truth, and... Well, I had some hope, of course, but I didn't believe that I will get it. Now Europeans will suffer. I want to thank Min and Korea for giving me budget for a new fleet. So now is the perfect time to beat up Min. We have the same technology and I have more ships. Get ready Ryukyu. Just annihilating Min. Finally, my colony is self-sustaining. Very good. Ok, I want to get to Mexico. Well, that's definitely interesting. Will my navy beat them both or will it fail? Well, it seems like it would be able. Very easy win. Just look at this admiral, it's perfect. Min is my main supplier of ships. No, really, just look how many ships I have. I think I'll even delete some of them. Hooray, capitulation! Finally, Okinawa is ours, and well, that's it, yes. Still, I'm happy. And now, time for Korea. You're going to pay, Korea. You're going to pay. Finally, here it is. So, I'll gladly take out of money, one island, and war reparations. I need to wait a little more. Okay, what about now? Now it's fine, okay. Well, Japan is complete. Finally, I have both Okinawa and Ainu. And here it is, finally. War against the world. The best CP in the entire game. Let's declare war on Mexicans. As second attack group, I'll take expansion. So, I'll make Chorty my vessel, take some money of course. And now... It seems like this trick only works if you're on the same continent. Unfortunately, I'm not in America. Well, I wanted to vassalize Chorty. And then I thought that I would be able to core provinces here. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like this. Okay, let's just wait until this colony finishes. I'm patient. Finally, the colony is finished. Now let's try conquering. Okay, fine. I just hope there will be at least one free island. One more colonist. I'll be able to colonize Taiwan. Sorry, China. There isn't any free island. I wanted to become ninja pirates of the Caribbean, but unfortunately Spain ruined it for me. But still, I have all of the Japan, I have Taiwan, and I think I'll end this video here. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, please like it, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!